The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Interlux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma. Hey folks, Fred Golafaro here for the Fisherman's Video Fishing Forecast. And uh, all eyes right now are on uh, Hurricane Matthew. Uh, as of today, uh, now they're saying there's a good chance it will not hit uh, parts of the northeast coast, that it's going to turn out to sea before it gets up here. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed that that's the case. I think there's still a very good probability we're going to see uh, some rough seas, uh, big swells, rough, rough surf. Uh, but we'll just have to wait that out and, and see what happens. Uh, fishing really bounced back from uh, we had six, seven days of northeast winds uh, in a row, a lot of winds, sometimes gusting to 40 knots and more. Uh, really had very little impact on the fishing scene. It, uh, of course, affected it for that week in a lot of cases, especially where the boat fishing was concerned. Most boats couldn't get out for a week. but. Uh, I'll tell you, the fishing bounced back really strong. Uh, a lot of people are concerned, you know, Albies were really good before uh, before that storm came in. Uh, they're right back where they were. A lot of Albies in Montauk, a lot of Albies in all the inlets, the South Shore inlets, uh, even off the North Fork. Uh, so that, that fishing really kicked right back into high gear. I know uh, yesterday in Fire Island Inlet they had uh, a long long stint of uh, really good fishing with Albies, and that was on Tuesday. <clears throat> uh, as you suspected, uh, that Northeaster did kick the striper fishing into high gear. Uh, before the storm, fishing down the west end of the island along most of the south shore was very poor. Uh, that changed dramatically. Uh, a lot of the party boats, in fact, had a cap tree. I'm over here at cap tree now. Uh, they, uh, a lot of them now are bass fishing and they are catching fish, clam chumming the west bar, clam chumming the bridges. Um, hopefully that fishing now, now stays, uh, stays stable for the next, hopefully well into November. Uh, uh, the uh, bottom fishing, uh, bottom fishing has gotten really good. Um, porgies strong again and you know that's going to carry on into November. Uh, sea bass, where you're able to fish, you know, inside the three miles, the federal inside federal waters, uh, that fishing came back strong. Uh, even the cod fishing in Montauk, uh, that that also bounced right back. <coughs> the uh, uh, there was some excellent surf fishing uh, you know, through through all that northeast wind, uh, but that's carried right into this week. Uh, it's a matter of fact. Uh, there's a uh, 50, 55 pound, 14 ounce striper caught on Tuesday night under the light at Montauk. Uh, that was by Ben McCarran. He's uh, a young but very sharp surf fisherman. Uh, he caught that fish under the light on a three ounce bucktail. And uh, there was a lot of good fishing going on actually. Quite a few fish in the 20s into the 30s caught along the north side and up front um, on Tuesday night. Uh, Surf fishing's been good. You know, uh, Shinnecock, Mariches, Fire Island, Jones, Breezy was very good at three excellent days of action in the surf. A lot of mullet pushed out by that northeast wind, and uh, that's fueling a lot of the good fishing. But a lot of other baits involved also. There's sand deals, which is a really good sign, because that could carry the fishing uh, well through November. Um, there's peanut bunker. There's, there were snappers. I don't know if they're still around. They got, they got pushed out pretty good. But um, a lot of reasons to be optimistic for a good surf fishing season. Um, <clears throat> the uh, blackfish season opened uh, yesterday. Um, really didn't get much in the way of reports at the time uh, I had to wrap this up. Um, but uh, that fishing can only get better. Water temperatures are still a little warm, you know, 65 to 70 degrees. So as the water temperatures drop, that'll get better. Uh, but uh, at least it gives people another option and uh, a good mixed bag opportunity too between porgy sea bass and blackfish now. Uh, before we forget too, uh, there was a striped bass tournament scheduled for this weekend. Um, that was the uh, Star Island tournament. It's been pushed back to uh, October 15th. Uh, the captain's meeting is Friday the 14th, so that's not this weekend, the following weekend. Uh, they put it off because of the uncertainty with the hurricane, probably a good move, and 
especially since we're probably going to get uh, some big seas regardless even if it's if it moves offshore so uh, you can put that on your calendar and don't forget um, the South Shore Surf Fishing Classic that is also next weekend um, October 14th to the 16th you can enter a capture bait and tackle it's $15 enter in person and the deadline for entry is Saturday October 15th at 9 a.m. Uh, if you haven't had your fill of surf fishing tournaments uh, the following weekend is the uh, South Shore Surf Spectacular that's hosted by Jones Beach Fishing Station uh, and that runs from uh, 1021 to 1023 Friday to Sunday entry fee there is also $15 and uh, you can enter at the shop up until noon on the Saturday of the tournament until next week I'm Fred Golifaro for the Fisherman.com the fishing news is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency, Intelux Marine Paint, Maxima Fishing Line, and Okuma.